Hello fellow drone nerds, thanks for joining us today. My name is Joe Kearns and I have another exciting product to show you. Today, it's a first look at the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Alright, so where does the Mavic 3 Enterprise fit in DJI's Enterprise lineup? So at the top, you've got that M300, still the big monster workhorse, all those multiple payloads. And then you have the M30T, which is a more like a compact, foldable, deployable version of the M300. And then you have the entry level, which is the Mavic 3 Enterprise and Mavic 3 Thermal. Now, these guys are the most foldable and most portable uh, carry-on style uh, bring with you drone and that's going to put this in its own special location in the Enterprise lineup. Alright, so two different versions of the Mavic 3 Enterprise. This is going to be the Mavic 3 Enterprise with the ability for RTK on top, the attachment point on top of this one right here, telephoto lens and big wide sensor, but then you're going to have a Mavic 3T or M. 3T is what they're just going to call it, and that is going to have a wide lens, a telephoto lens, and a 640 by 512 thermal camera on a Mavic series. So wonderful to see, can't wait to see it. Also new with the Mavic 3 Enterprise is the new charging hub. So with this device, it's gonna be able to charge one of the batteries in 65 minutes flat. So very quick, able to get that going and get right back out for the mission. M3E has a 45 minute flight time. That's really long for this stuff and be able to have attachments and different parts will probably you know bring it down a little bit but still that is monstrous i mean i remember using the mavic uh, 2 enterprise and it was not this close with both versions of the mavic 3 enterprise both of them have the rc pro as its controller the difference between the two drones is the gimbal guard on them. So with the Mavic 3, it has, as a lot of us call it, the muzzle. And uh, the muzzle not only protects the gimbal, but it also folds up and holds the props kind of up and against the drone. And I think kind of the concept is you can push this right into a bag and it's more for a prosumer. Uh, with the Enterprise, it actually has this plastic gimbal guard on the front of it that is easily removable and reminds me a lot more of kind of the classic M2E. So with this, I mean, a lot of times this is just gonna be used right in the box or stored right in the box and immediate deployment from there. So I can kind of see the difference between the two products. All right, so definitely something to note between the two products is the Mavic 3 Enterprise has a strobe on the back of the drone unlike the regular Mavic 3. Some of the attachments that's gonna be on the Mavic 3 Enterprise, one, the loudspeaker. So that loudspeaker is gonna be back. Uh, you'll be able to speak into the RC uh, Pro controller and be able to talk to somebody and converse with a microphone built on the controller. Can't quite hear them yet, but on the controller, you can definitely speak to them. Another accessory is gonna be an RTK module. This is gonna be able to uh, tap into RG RTK data as well as tap into the uh, RTK uh, base stations by DJI. So new to the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the attachment port on top is actually a USB-C instead of a micro USB. Hey folks, thanks again for joining us today on the Mavic 3 Enterprise. If this product uh, fits your organization's needs or you have any questions, please reach out to us at experts at Hey, have a great rest of the day. Take care.